guys. We're now flying in the UK, so it's time to check your gear, fix any issues that you found. I found a frayed line on my BGD base. Here I am just sorting out the wing, separating all the lines so that I can make changing the broken line with the new line nice and simple in a small area. Here you can see the stello where the outer cover has been damaged. I'll show you by sliding it back a little bit. And you can see the core has exposed. I ordered new lines from Aerofix. I asked for a colour change so they're easy to see amongst all the other lines. It turned up really quick and with the right colour. Here I'm just popping out the little rubber stay. This is used instead of um, rubber O-rings. I prefer these, they don't jam up, they don't move around. And then I'm using an adjustable span to undo the Malon. Here's a little trick so that you don't have to remember the type of loops that you've got in your lines. Take one off and put it onto, in this case, a screwdriver, a pen, anything else would be ideal. Put it on there in the order that you take them off the Malon. Then you won't lose their position and you shouldn't get anything wrapped up or tangled up anywhere else after having separated all the lines before you've detached any of this. Here you can see the Stablo line, making a note of the type of loop that it's got in here. This one doesn't have any loops in it. Over time, where it's shrunk, any loops that are previously in it have been taken out. We have one end attached, we're now detaching the upper end. And there are three lines attached to here. You just simply hold onto them, push them towards each other, and then you can pull them out. As you pull these, you need to be really careful. You don't start burning through it, it's a gentle threading it out. Don't just pull it really fast, or you will burn straight through the other lines. I'm taking the line out, being careful with the other three lines. I need to lay those out so they don't get tangled amongst themselves or twisted. Makes it easier when we re-thread the new line that we've got. Now here I'm quickly checking the length of the old line versus the length of the new line. I find that when I get to the end, the new line is actually a little bit longer than the old line. Now this is normal. Old lines over time, they will actually shrink in length. That's why when you find them brand new on the Maylons, they will actually have knots in them. So the ones with lesser pressure through them you can actually release those knots to maintain the length. Now here, you'll see that I've got the new line. I'm going to thread the three upper lines through the eyelet, one after the other, in nice order. Slide the purple line down and out the way. Now I'm going to go and grab the other end of the line. Then thread the other end through those three eyelets. Again, as you feed this line through, don't pull it hard and fast. You do not want to burn those other three lines. Once you get to the end, make sure everything's nice and evenly tensioned. So you have a nice joint and three lines versus the one new line. As you tighten these, make sure that all three are as tight as they possibly can be, and that you haven't tightened it too much, that you've jammed two, and one still got slack in it. At the mail on end, because I know that it's longer, I'm gonna put in an extra loop to shorten the length of the line. This shorter length is going to be closer to the original length that was already on there. But 
has the line strength so it gives me something to take out to lengthen it to keep it serviceable for a bit longer now one after the other i'm taking the other lines off the screwdriver with the same knot and putting them back in the mail on in the correct order pull them nice and tight once the melon's closed up. Don't forget to nip it closed with the spanner. And then insert the rubber tidy. This will stop the melon ever coming undone. It'll also keep the lines where they should be. I always like to replace my lines in pairs so the wings stay symmetrical with the specification or the line lengths involved. If the lines are hugely out and you can't adjust them as much, you may well have to do a laser line check to make sure that the wing is still in trim. I hope this has helped you guys. Keep safe, happy flying.